All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Hoboken, New Jersey, international. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong, the Apex. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, man, we are underway. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here. The expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the Rock. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Nice punch, man. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. It's nuts. It's nuts. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Spinning back fist is there. Nice. And then he lands a nice elbow. Ooh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's gonna fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. 
Single collar tie now. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off the strikes. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Three minutes to go. Oh, he connects with another uppercut. He's landed a few big ones so far. That is his best punch. He finds it from so many different positions, and he can find that uppercut from both sides of the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? You gotta check these low leg kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in the match. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here in All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Big punch to the body. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Lands the right hand. He blocks the shot. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. in a single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Great punch landing. So much power. Ooh, Superman punch lands. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing so fast, so crisp. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ha. You are battering that nose. Oh, knee to the head. That never feels good. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Round two underway. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Oh! Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. While working out of side control here, his opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable.
unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, collar tie. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Left hand punch to the clinch. And they separate. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Again here, but hurting. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Oh, single collar tie here. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbows to clinch. Just a split there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no... Oh! oh unbelievable. Fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Battle for position here. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Sound defensively blocks the shot. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds at round number two. Playing the winner by the well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out quick. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.